Now, their music has been key to the soundtrack of Britain since the 90s. And now the trip-hop pioneers' massive attack are back on tour with new music. Their live shows have always been a rich visual experience laden with political ideas. This time, they put images of Syrian refugees at the heart of their show, teaming up with the photographer Giles Dooley, who lost three limbs on assignment in Afghanistan. I went to meet him and Massive Attack's Robert Del Naya. How often does the crowd cheer silence at a concert? But this isn't any old gig. This is the return of Massive Attack. The seminal trip-hop band from Bristol helped define the 1990s. The now 25-year-old unfinished Sympathy still makes various lists of the greatest songs of all time. Their collaborations stretch from David Bowie to Tracy Thorne. And now, the photographer, Giles Dooley, who spent months documenting the plight of Syrian refugees. But there was something about being in Lesvos that, that moved me in a way that I haven't been moved by other projects I've done. And I'm not sure if it was because it was in Europe, which was quite shocking for me to see the images that I'm used to, to creating in, in other countries here in Europe, uh, to see children you know, dying on the beaches of Europe. But I think it was also just the, the scale of it. I think I hadn't expected to see 7,000 people landing on a small beach every single day. How do you practically take the photograph with one hand? I mean, the whole thing is a nightmare, like working with no legs and, and one arm. I mean, if you, if you watch photographers normally, they're always ducking, they're always running around, moving. I'm kind of stuck in one position. I have one shot I can do, which is pretty much straight on. But the good thing is, it actually slows me down. And I think that's where you know, my images get their strength, is that I work in a different way to anybody else, whether that's through choice or not. Um, and I would kind of describe myself as a kind of casserole of, of photography. You know, you kind of put it in the oven and leave it for a while. In Lesvos, I was really moved and, and very emotional about what was happening. I was just like, I needed to do something more with the photographs than just getting them published in a newspaper. So I thought of the guys from uh, Massif and I knew Dee, so I gave him a call. I literally Skyped him from the beach and just told him exactly what I was seeing and said, you know, what can we do? I was deeply moved by the pictures he was sending me um, initially and of course I watch the news like everybody else so I'm up to speed with the story I think but when you see the pictures from a personal first-hand perspective it's a very different kind of response. We have in the past used a kind of journalistic approach to our light show by transmitting and, and sort of regurgitating information that's around us. This felt more important than that and this felt like an opportunity to, to tell a story which is probably being edited by in places it shouldn't be, and it should be just told very directly and naturally. I think what was really important was how we present Giles' pictures in a way that were kind of really honest. Um, and for instance, in the track we use them in, a track called Girl I Love You, which is an apolitical piece of music, you see Giles' images flash up a lot quicker. And what's really, I think, shocking about it is that you could be looking at photographs from any time in the last hundred years of, this, of, a, of a crisis involving human refugee migration and, and war. And I think that's what's terrifying. That you think, wow, nothing's changed. This is something that we have to engage with because it's not the past, this is now. The images get their biggest showcase at the end of the concert, played long on the big screen. The band and Giles had wondered if people would stay to watch. And we had no idea either, you know, it, and it's, it's part of the kind of challenge of trying to sort of do effectively a pop show but sort of like relay information and, and, and do something which is a little more challenging and provocative in the right way. And I think that was the real challenge here, to be able to show Giles' photographs and therefore tell that story in a way that affected people on an emotional level. A new EP gives a taste of more to come, including a new single featuring original collaborator, Tricky. The new video seems quite dark. I mean, what's the thinking behind it? The fact that me and Tricky, you know, had a sort of like quite a fractious relationship over the years and we hadn't done any work together for like 20 years. And the fact that we're back on the same track together, it kind of, I think, the, the look of the sort of the conflict in the, in the central character, John Hawkes' head, 
as he's dealing with his own internal demons, I think it's quite a good visualisation of that idea of where that conflict might lie in the song. But for now, it's a very different conflict Massive Attack is imploring people to think about. We sort of judge our ancestors by their past and the way we look back at the two great wars and coming from a sort of a, a generation of European kids who've had a very safe existence so far, I think our response to this sort of unprecedented crisis is going to be what defines us in the eyes of the future generations.